Hi, so in previous videos, I talked how to think about prompt, what prompt is, how to generate the prompt using Anthropic Console, or, and also what are the most effective ways of writing prompts. And today I want to show you how to work on, on this prompt iteration in a couple of ways. So let's start with the prompt that I showed in my first video, the one, what is the prompt? So the task was to uh, proofread and improve uh, professionalism of a text. And this is the prompt that was generated for us by, by Anthropic. So uh, we skipped the system prompt in this particular example. And the question is to proofread and improve given text to sound more professional. We specify the text will be related to DevSecOps and software delivery. Uh, are similar technical topics. Uh, the goal is to enhance the clarity, coherence, professionalism of a text and maintaining accuracy. Here is the original text. As you can see, we used XML text to mark when the text starts. Uh, those are like, um, as I said, like steps, particular steps, how to uh, improve this text. So LLM knows what to do. And this is the response format. So we ask large language model to uh, suggest changes uh, to um, improve the whole, like incorporate the the whole text uh, that is that has been improved, and provide additional comments. Mm, any comments like this can improve the quality of the quality of the uh, of the output. Okay, and we want to work on it. We want to actually work on it. So what will, do we do? Uh, as you can see, we use here this um, this mustache formatting. And here we have this little pencil. And when you click the pencil here, you can add the var variables. So let's, uh, I will just take one of my comments that I added yesterday in, uh, in GitLab. So I will put it here. Uh, and I will click, uh, I will click run. If you don't need, know what to put, you can also generate the, the content, but let's click run. And as you can see, we have the suggested changes. We have the polished version, which is very important. And we have this, uh, and then we have a comments. Here we can also uh, here we can set variable variables. So this text that come here, if you you have more, um, if you have more variables, you can set them here. We have model settings. Which one model do we use? Which temperature? So like how much creativity we are giving to large language model and max tokens to sample. So how long, uh, how long the answer can be. And yeah, so he, he, here's like the simplest way to iterate. We can put different texts here and see the response from large language model and decide if our prompt is correct or not. Hi, it's Gosia again, and I'm here to talk about how to effectively iterate on the prompt content uh, in Anthropic Console. So in the previous, um, in the previous uh, video, I talked about how to check if your prompt is even working in Anthropic Console. And today, and in this video, I would like to show you how to actually iterate to check multiple, uh, multiple inputs using the same prompt. So I have the same prompt as I uh, as I did before, and in the workbench, so where in this console where we are testing the prompt, we have this evaluate uh, button, and if we go here, you can see that we are using uh, the same prompt that we used before. It's our first version, and here we are putting original text. So this input, this one place, that we will put the content of the comment. And here we are checking um, the model response. And we can actually do several things to check how this behaves. We can add row 
and just put here any type of uh, comment we want. So we can type our ans our suggestions, like our text that we want to see. Um, you want to see um, how prompt reacts to that. Uh, but I won't be doing that at this moment because I won't type this fast, but you can imagine just put anything here. We can generate test cases, which is very interesting because here, uh, large language model will, will uh, generate a text for us that we can use. Uh, we can use as a, we can use as a example. The other thing we can do, we can import test cases. And here, Anthropic shows us what to do. The column header should be called original text. It should not include curly braces and so on and so on. So we can import like multiple, multiple things into, into this uh, evaluate, um, evaluate uh, part of the Anthropic console and we can see how the same prompt behaves for multiple inputs, which is, I think, great. So let me prepare some CSV file and talk to you uh, and I will come back to you. Okay, so let's try adding our own examples to this evaluate uh, evaluate part of the Anthropic console. Uh, so let's import test cases and I I followed the instructions here and created a very short CSV file. And I downloaded it here. Um, so we have five test cases. Those are like comments that I've made yesterday uh, in GitLab while working. So I am importing them. And I can run remaining. So I can run all the test cases uh, at once. So I will click this. Yes, they are running. And we'll just wait. Mm, wait to see uh wait to see all the uh, all the results. And by doing this, we can very easily iterate on on prompts. We can like have one CSV that has all the inputs that we uh that we require, and we can then um use the same input to see the output for different prompt. So as you see, oh, we're still waiting for two more, two more things. One more. Yes, we have everything. Now we can export this to CSV, for example, to compare. And here we can manually uh, assign assign um, great so we can see like this is poor this was fair this was good so this is uh, how we can uh, like annotate uh, our results okay so let's go even a step further and let's say we want to check if different prompt works better or worse than our previous one so we have the same prompt that uh, i showed you uh, before and let's just remove this just to check and we want to okay so we want to go to evaluate we want to save changes to v2 so now we have uh, v2 we want to run all of our all of our uh, examples and this will take a moment and it's running and in the meantime while this is running we will click and comparison and we will compare with v1 and this, this way we can check how, how does those things uh, differ between each other and how we, and if, 
and if uh, which of the prompts behaved better. And then when we're ready, we can export to CSV and compare compare there. So this is like very like the easiest way to evaluate uh, to evaluate the uh, evaluate the performance of the prompt. Uh, but this is not it. Uh, there are more advanced ways and I will show them in the next video.